hi guys welcome back to my channel all right so remember now to subscribe remember to like remember to leave a comment and remember to share most importantly remember to click that notification bell so that you'll be the first to know when new information is posted to this channel all right so we are going to move on to our final part of our agricultural science school based assessment oh welcome 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 to Alz agrology mecca all right and we are going to be looking at our final part of our agricultural science school based assessment outline now we are going to pick up where we stop in part two and so today we are going to be looking at cost analysis which is our complete budget and we are going to be starting with our projected budget now we can do our format for our budget in two formats you can have your income at the top and your expenditure below now this is just showing one income for one set of chicken so you need to have for both sets remember you're going two sets of chicken so this is just showing one income for one set of chickens so you have your dressed chicken your chicken feet liver and neck you have the quantity that's the weight the cost per pound and you have your total cost and your total income so this would be for the first set of chicken and below here you'd have for the second set then you'll have your expenditure the next format you will see in our actual budget right so remember you have the income at the top and you can have the expenditure below so the income would be at the top for both sets of chicken and your expenditure below remember to also indicate your mortality in your budget how many chicken you expect to die right in your projected budget so over here you have all the items that were bought to rear the two sets of chickens the quantity and the unit cost that's the cost for each item and you have your total cost over here notice we have a flat rate for electricity and we ha also have a flat rate for water these are very difficult to measure and we have our total expenditure now remember this is a projected budget and you have to do your projected budget before you actually rear the chicken right so you're looking forward to what you the amount of money you would spend the amount of profit that you will make this amount of our, our loss that you will make right so it depends all right so here we have all our projected budget all right so we are going to be moving on to our actual budget now and so remember now i said we have two formats one where we have the income at the top and the expenditure below this one is really showing our income on our left and our expenditure on our right right and you outline and remember to include your mortality your rare 50 chickens how many died how many slaughtered and so forth how much you sell per pound and so we have for the gizzard we have for the liver foot neck and it continues over here and this is your total income for that set of chicken and this was the set of chicken that was reared on crumble feed right so you move to the next set that add crumble and pellet and remember one add crumble for two weeks and pellet from three to six weeks all right so we have for the gizzard we have the liver feet right and you outline how much it is sold for and so forth and you continue where you have for the neck and you have all of that information here and this is the total amount for this set of chicken all right so remember the first set here is the total for that set 
and here is the total for this set so you want to add both of those together to get your to your total or overall income right so we have our expenditure right remember we have our expenditure and so the expenditure here this is our expenditure all right and so we have our total expenditure of 40,300 and you want to now subtract this expenditure from your income to decide or to know if you make a shortfall or if you make a surplus. If you have a positive number, you make a surplus. If there's a negative number, it's a shortfall. Surplus is your profit, shortfall is a loss. And so we have a positive number here and so it's a surplus right so this is our actual budget now for all the information that you have in your projected and actual budget can be summarized in a table so you have your actual income for both sets your projected income for both sets you have your actual expenditure for both sets your projected expenditure for both sets your actual surplus and if it's shortfall it would be actual shortfall and if it's shortfall again, it would be projected shortfall. But here we have actual surplus and we also have a projected surplus. Now this information you can use to make your graphs or charts. And again, explain what is happening in the table. Explain, analyze what is happening in the table. All right, so after completing your budgets, now you want to analyze your budgets. You are basica basically analyzing or focusing on three parts or three items. Your income, your expenditure, your surplus or shortfall. And you are looking at projected and actual. Projected income, actual income. Projected expenditure, actual expenditure. Same thing for shortfall or surplus. Now here is just a little summary of what you can do. Of course, you will do more than this in your SBA. So upon completion of the broiler production, the budgets were analyzed. The total income was projected to be this amount. However, the actual sales or income would be this amount. So when you subtract this amount from this amount, the actual shortfall would be this amount. Now, as a result, this is lower than projected. The yield projected was X amount of pounds. So you go back to your projected budget, look at the amount of pounds that you projected to get and look back at your actual budget to see the amount that you actually got. And then you're going to subtract this amount from this and you realize what your deficit here will be. Again, explain give a reason why you have this amount because you you had projected this big sum and you only have this is it that you have a high mortality the chicken did not weigh as much as you expected or you did not sell it for the amount that you projected to sell it for right so the result this resulted in a sales deficit right so when you subtract this from this you have a deficit of that amount the higher than projected mortality, as I said, explain if it's your mortality or so, that will affect your income. So compare the projected income with the actual income and give reason for your results or your data. Do the same thing for your expenditure. Compare projected expenditure with the actual expenditure. Again, give reason. You might have projected to spend a lot for your expenditure because in your expendi your projected expenditure, you have to list everything that you plan to use. Now, when, you actually when you're ready to rear your chicken, you might not buy all that you have in your projected because you might have some feeders already, you might have some waterers already, you might have some bulbs and so forth. So your actual expenditure might be less and so you explain that you would have had some items before. So you did not buy all of that. Look at your surplus or your shortfall. So if you make a profit, why? Is it that the chickens produce more pounds or you were able to sell it for more, right? Or you have less mortality? 
explain what if you have a shortfall is that the chickens did not produce as much or you sell it for less or you have high mortality rate explain so you're basically in analyzing your budget you're basically analyzing your income your expenditure shortfall or your surplus right and so remember i said that in the summary table you can use that information to make your graphs and your charts notice here that the projected income is higher right and the actual income is less explain again what the chart is depicting right analyze your data right all right so you move on to your actual budget and you continue with your charts using your expenditure and you look at your projected expenditure against your actual expenditure right and notice this is higher because you have to list everything that you plan to use right so you indicate explain analyze your table and you'll do the same thing for your surplus your ex projected surplus against your actual surplus if you had a shortfall it would be projected shortfall against actual shortfall or it could be surplus and shortfall or shortfall and surplus but explain what your graph is saying so that's basically how you would complete your agricultural science sba we're at the end and so now you are ready and you're on your way to complete and to pass your agricultural science exam all the best of luck all right so we have completed our three-part series of our school based assessment now there are some of you who missed classes last school year in agricultural science and so classes come in soon classes will start in september and so do you want to get ready for your csec in fourth and fifth form of course do you want to make up for what you have missed during last school year? Yes. Well, make contact for more information at alsagrology907 at gmail.com. Class is starting soon. It will be on Mondays from 5 to 7 p.m. The platforms that we'll use, Google Meet and Google Classroom. Classes starting soon, so sign up now and book your spot. All the best in your agricultural science exam. All right, so guys, remember to subscribe, to comment, and share. And remember to click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time new information is posted to Al's Agrology Mecca. Stay tuned for more information that will be coming to this channel on agricultural science and we also will be looking at human and social biology school-based assessment. Subscribe!